What wonderfully blue eyes you have, Ernest. <laughs> they are quite, quite blue. I hope you will always look at me just like that, especially when there are other people present. <laughs> Mr. Worthing, rise, sir, from this semi-recumbent posture. Tis most indecorous. Mama! I must beg you to retire. This is no place for you. And besides, Mr. Worthing has not quite finished yet. Finished what, may I ask? I am engaged to Mr. Worthing, Mama. Pardon me, you're not engaged to anyone. When you do become engaged to someone, I, or your father, should his health permit him, will inform you of the fact. An engagement should come on a girl as a surprise, pleasant or unpleasant, as the case may be. <laughs> it is hardly a matter that she could be allowed to arrange for herself. And now, I have a few questions to put to you, Mr. Worthing. <clears throat> While I am making my inquiries, you, Gwendolen, will wait for me below in the carriage. Mama. In the carriage, Gwendolen. Gwendolyn, the carriage. Oh, yes, Mama. The importance being earnest is, is a beautiful musical study. It loves the English language. I don't know how you can watch it, read it, and not be transformed by its sheer joy. The importance of being earnest is, is a mystery because almost nothing in, in art, and even less in theatre, is perfect. I don't think there's a single play of Shakespeare's that's perfect. But the importance of being earnest is perfect. Now to minor details, are your parents living? I have lost both my parents. To lose one parent, Mr Worthing, may be regarded as a misfortune. To lose both looks like carelessness. Who was your father? He was evidently a man of some wealth. I'm afraid I really don't know, Lady Bracknell. You see, I, I said I had lost both my parents. Nearer to the truth to say that my parents seem to have lost me. I don't actually know who I am by birth. I was, um... Well, I was found. Found? Yes, the late Mr Thomas Cardew, an old gentleman of a very charitable and kindly disposition, found me and gave me the name of Worthing because he happened to have a first-class ticket to Worthing in his pocket at the time. 